you will need food coloring, a flat shallow dish, skewers, eggs, shaving foam, eyedroppers, gloves, paper towel and a small jar of water. Boil your eggs for approximately 8 minutes. Make sure you thoroughly wash your hands before starting the activity. Hi, my name's Jill and I work at the Redland Museum. Today we're going to show you some school holiday activities that you can do at home. Today we're going to do the marbled shaving foam Easter eggs and let's get started. Shake and squirt your shaving foam into a shallow dish. Choose two to three food colourings to use to colour each egg. Drop several droplets of each food dye onto the shaving foam. Remember to wear your plastic gloves when you're using food dye so it doesn't colour your hands. Then take your wooden skewer and blend, mix and swirl the colours into the shaving foam. Once you're happy with the mix, get your egg and immerse into the shaving foam. This is the fun bit where the kids can get to squish their fingers in the foam and roll the egg around making sure it's fully covered. Pat the shaving foam in the areas that have not got total coverage and um, it's lots of fun. The kids will really enjoy this part. Your egg should now look like a giant colourful snowball. Here, Jill is making it the colour purple by mixing red and blue food dye together in one spot before swirling around in the shaving foam. As you can see, we're using white eggs. We got these from a member of the museum who has their own chickens. The supermarket don't seem to stock white eggs. You can get them from the local farmer or it's still okay to use brown eggs for this activity. Jill has finished rolling the egg around in the foam creating a giant colourful snowball and leaving to dry on the newspaper with the rest of our eggs for about 20 minutes. 20 minutes later it's now time for the big unveiling of the coloured tie-dye egg. Wipe away all of the excess shaving foam and pat dry very gently. Leave the egg for a further 20 minutes to fully dry. Make sure you still have your gloves on for this step so the dye doesn't get on your hands. We hope that you've enjoyed this activity brought to you by Redland Museum. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and like our video. See you next time.